Uh, are we supposed to be shooting these? Hello, hello. How is everybody tonight? Happy to see you here, Rue. Nate, nice to see you, man. I'm sure Noodle will be in any moment now. Uh, I just need to switch over one more thing here. Oh, and we got to take our break in the start. I forgot to do the uh, before stream break while I was setting everything up. That was my bad. No problem. Get that rolling while we just uh, BS for a moment, I guess. All right, man. Might as well unmute the game now, too. We're moving out now. So, yeah, I mean, I know nothing about this game, as is so often the case, you know. Uh, <laughs> but it comes highly, highly uh, rated from Rue here. So, like, <laughs> pretty excited to try it, though, not gonna lie. Once I uh, started looking into it a little bit, like just seeing the art and whatnot, like, the art looks really good for the game. And the music is beautiful, so, like, yeah. I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know, gameplay-wise, I think it's a it's an action RPG, right? Not like a turn-based RPG? I mean, I like both, so I'm fine with either one, but I, I'm, I think it's kind of action-y, is uh, what we're getting into. You recommend Japanese voices to avoid cheesiness? Do they, uh... My only problem with playing games with Japanese voices is when you're like running around doing stuff and people are talking to you at the same time because then it's like i can't read the subtitles and do whatever quest or whatever they have me doing that's my only problem with that sort of thing because i tried to do that with like final fantasy 15 and final fantasy uh uh type zero or something like that i forget which one i tried to do it with a couple different final fantasy games before and like it was great man i really enjoyed having the the japanese but um like, in, in Final Fantasy XV, for instance, while you're running around, they're constantly talking to each other, right? The different characters. So, like, it made it pretty much impossible to read the subtitles and do whatever the hell you're supposed to do. But, yeah, I mean, I'm perfectly fine with trying out the Japanese uh, voices, though. The Japanese voice acting. I generally prefer things in their native language anyways. So, like, yeah. Nothing like that? Okay. Odin's Fear, man. I don't know. It looks really good. It looks really good. And it says something about, like, all of the art being hand-drawn and shit like that. Like, I'm pretty excited for that, man. That that seems pretty sick. <laughs> I am ready. Well, good news, Rue, because so am I. <laughs> I am ready as well. Let's go, man. Hmm. It's gonna be another tie. It's always another tie, man. Every single time. <laughs> the only time I've seen us beat the bot for the, uh, for a tic-tac-toe up there is whenever we've, uh, gotten an extra move for some BS reason. Like, <laughs> select the difficulty level. The difficulty can be changed later. Uh, hard? Obviously. Like, <laughs> It did say it could be changed later, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it said. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try out Japanese. I'm perfectly fine with that. Voice dialogue will be in Japanese. Now. <clears throat> oh, geez. <coughs> that's, that was weird. Froze up there for a second. I think we're back. <laughs> Hopefully my network doesn't fuck up too bad tonight. Um... Do not be ashamed if you have to. You got it. Hey, Noodle. Happy to see you, love. Um, shit, what was I going to say? I was getting ready to say something, though. I completely forget what now. Gwendolyn. HP level 1. Cypher level 1. Gold and playtime 0. Press down to pick up a book. Are there, like, secrets? No secrets? Okay. There's a kitty, though. Can I pick the, can I pick the kitty? Can I play with the kitty, I mean? Press down... I want to pick up the kitty. Yes, it's my kitty. <laughs> I'm going to sit with the kitty and nobody can force me to do otherwise. <laughs> that is actually really cute, man. I really like that. And that lets you go through the story archive. I mean, we wouldn't have anything in the story archive yet because, you know, we haven't played it all yet, but that's really neat. This menu is pretty dope. 
Press X to read or yeah, yeah, okay. This is cute. Like sitting down with a book or with a cat or whatever as the menu screen. That's pretty neat. That's a neat idea. I'm gonna make Katie's that. Why? Because I'm sitting down with another kitty. Tutorials are always in the beginning. No avoiding those. That's fine. Kitty keeps track of all the stories and their timelines in regards to each other. Very cool. The birds have a belief. This is the only method of earning an immortal soul. Wait, what? Why are we why are we earning immortal immortal souls? Uh Nate, you just lost, man. <laughs> I was gonna say, I saw you pick eight when he had one and three. I was like, uh You know she thinks you're one and only. Yeah. That cat's obsessed with me, and I don't know why. <laughs> die in battle, that's how Valkyries earn their souls, and how they prefer to die as well. Yeah, it makes sense. Explained a bit later. I'm just very into the art. Like, the artistic style and whatnot of it. It's pretty neat. I like how hand-drawn everything looks, and vibrant, right? Like, everything's very vibrant looking, too, which is nice. Like, honestly, the PS2 didn't have enough 2D games. Like, the PS... or um, Yeah, yeah, yeah. The PS2 and PS1 both could do 2D so well, man. But everybody was so focused on uh, everything being 3D, like... So this was our, our friend or mom or something? Older sister, okay. Oh, and the king's our father. Good to know. <laughs> Bruh. Hell of a way to start a game. I'm <laughs> watching your older sister die. Okay. <laughs> He's an ass fuck Odin. Wow. So the the other game, because like when I search for this, I, I always saw another one pop up. Is it a sequel or was it just a remake? The Odin Sphere, I forget the name of it. It was a German word though, like loose something. But... Got a bit of a uh, of a, a Titan thing going on, the Mad Titan thing going on from the Marvel movies. What the fuck's his name? Thanos. <laughs> that is the Shadow Knight. Rumor has he's made a deal. What the hell? Just a remake. Okay. Okay. Uh, bitch, I'll do what I want. This is our introduction to combat, I'm assuming. Or not. <laughs> uh, suddenly kinky. Huh. Weird, okay. I don't want any spoilers. I'm a little confused on why he let us live, though. Don't spoil it. I'm just curious. Storming battlefields, okay. There's a very good reason on why he did. I'm sure there is. I'm just curious on what that is, you know? Speaking of, though, since we probably are going to complete this game, I did mean to look up and then just completely forgot. HL2B Odin Sphere. Oh, it's not that long. About 46 hours for an average playthrough. 46, 47. Completionist is like 60-something. That's not that bad. 
Okay, so we can jump and double jump. And oh we we float too. Or we can we can stop floating by hitting X a third time. Okay, that's handy. Triangle pulls up some sort of menu. I don't know exactly what that is yet. R1 charges something. That's a weird button for a menu, L2. Oh, this is a whole nother menu. Sounds. Stereo mono. Sorry, I'm a I'm a options whore. I like seeing options. <laughs> Change the battle timer display? Okay, that's cool. Voices, vibration, okay, okay, okay. And then more shit will unlock later. Got it. I can't help but notice over on the right that, like, it shows us circling around something. Are we going in one big circle? And square to attack the enemy, okay. Just make sure you actually play the game. I'm playing. No worries. So the, the circle is the, the map. Okay. While gliding, press down or left, right, and square to do a diving attack. There you go. Diving attack. Achieved. So what if we, like, press a directional button? Does that do a different kind of diving attack? No. Oh. Oh, we can also, like... Stop hovering a little bit and also look up her skirt. Okay. <laughs> Press and hold square to guard. Got it. That pulls out the shield. I'm doing well. <laughs> Enemy troops have arrived. Oh, he just ran past me. Uh, that bitch is dead. Pow is consumed when attacking or guarding. That makes sense. You got it. Oh. If power runs out, you will be stunned for a short period. Power recovers over time when not attacking. This all makes sense. There is ranking for battles. That's good to know. Okay, I see there's another dude coming. Oh, what is that? I don't know what happened, but... <laughs> when enemies are defeated, balls of light called foe zones appear. Absorbing foe zones raises your weapon level. Cypher level. And increases your attack power. Press R1 to absorb them. Oh, that's what that does. Okay. And it and it looks like it pulls them from all over the map. Like, we don't actually have to be that close to them. That's actually kind of handy. I appreciate that. Addition to weapon power, absorbing Fozons allows you to use Cypher skills or magic. R1 to absorb, triangle to see the skills. And then we can try out Cyclone. Okay. We can try out Cyclone. Uh, bro, come back. In addition... Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see what that said, but I think it said the same thing. Hey, they had to pay attention to detail, you know? <laughs> Use R1 when you see those floating things. Super important. Sadly, in Classic, it's the only way to absorb those. Yeah, you would think, like, running over them would absorb them, too. But I, I still appreciate the fact that it, like, sucks them in. Like, I do appreciate that, though. What's the... Uh, I see a little white thing on the ground here. Yeah. What are Fozons? New text added. Notes. Fozons are a form of energy used as a source of magic by sorcerers, as well as elemental entities like fairies. However, do not forget that their beautiful shine is that of a creature's life, as Fozons only appear when a living creature passes away. Okay. It's like the life essence of things that we're draining. Got it. New text added. Ciphers. Weapons crafted with rare magical crystals are called ciphers. Like normal weapons, these weapons have the ability to grow and become more powerful. Interesting way to explain uh, how you can level up your weapon so easily. A mulberry? I'm assuming that's just food for, like, health. Eating food recovers HP. Eating also earns HP experience. Wait, so do things level up separately, like HP and stuff, and raises max HP? And circles our item ring, and then we can select the mulberry. We also have two different bags, it looks like. That's neat. I like the, the wheel that they stole from, uh, what was it, Chrono Trigger? Chrono Cross or whatever? Like, you know, some fucker spent a couple hours to make that happen. <laughs> eat any and all food. Shouldn't you, like, mostly eat it whenever you're uh, low on health, though? To restore health? I mean, like, you're going to want to eat it eventually, obviously, but... 
The essence of food. Eating food heals injuries and helps strengthen the body, increases HP level. Food becomes your own flesh and blood, replenishing vital energy. Those who eat healthy food will strengthen their bodies. Eating carefully prepared food enhances growth. Uncooked food takes more time to di to consume and digest. Makes sense. Fozons level up your weapon. Food levels you up. It's a weird way to go about it, but I'm down. Oh, can we grow stuff? When planted, seeds grow by absorbing fozons. When fruit appears, strike it to pick it. Let's plant it, dude. Let's try it. That is weird. That is such a weird way to do things, but I'm here for it, man. That's cool. I didn't mean to open up the, the item menu. Okay, so our, our attacks seem to have a bit of an AoE, too. Oh, and the food automatically grabs the Fozons out of the, the air forest. That's neat. All stages are circular and can be traversed in either direction. That's nice. When the stage has been cleared, all exits appear as yellow dots on the circular map. Okay. Enemy troops have arrived. Uh, I mean, so just eat the shit. Okay. You got it, man. We'll eat the shit. Bastard. Can you imagine hitting a girl like that? So freaking rude. <laughs> oh, we're starting the food talk early today. I just ate pizza before the stream. That's why I was late, actually. Because uh, instead of picking up food today, we, we ordered uh, food to be delivered. And uh, yeah, we had to wait for it to arrive. <laughs> uh, do I smack it? Yep, there we go. So treasure you just pick up. Everything else you gotta pick up. I didn't mean to open the magic menu. Eat the mulberry, apparently. Oh. Uh, Cypher's part two. New text added to the archive. By absorbing phosons, the weapon's attack power is enhanced. Also, it is said that the absorbed phosons can be used to cast various magic spells. Well, obviously. We kinda know that already. In battle, where one's life is always in danger, many soldiers hide their valuables before fighting to feature enemies quickly before they hide their treasure. Okay. Also kind of a neat way to explain away the whole... Uh... Sorry, I was just like... That menu that popped up, I wasn't sure what it was. I didn't know if that was something that would always happen when we hit up, but no, it's only at the exit. Um, and I've forgotten what I'm saying, but whatever. <laughs> well, she is known as Odin's Witch, so... Hey, I did too, actually. You had four cheese pierogies, boiled them, then fried them in water. I love pierogies. We usually just fry ours, or uh, boil them and then fry them in butter. Mm, so freaking good. To open any chest, you either have to have the key or just hit it a bunch. <laughs> I'm assuming it's one or the other. Should have got a hold of me, lol. Yeah, honestly, I probably would have got it faster if I had, but... Oh, well. Jeffrey suffered many casualties, including Griselda, our commander. Usually, what, uh, since I work on Fridays, I usually just pick it up on the way home, but I didn't feel like it tonight. <laughs> it's kind of weird, like, having uh, Odin and, and Odin's daughters and stuff like that with this art style. Again, I love the art style. It looks really good. But, like... That's not what I imagine when I see or think of Odin or whatever, though, you know? Fried him in butter, you meant, lol? <laughs> I was wondering. I mean, I've heard of people, quote-unquote, frying things in water. It's not, but people call it that. See, it, I don't know, man. Odin seems like he's kind of hurting. Like, the voice actor here is making it sound like he's kind of sad about it, you know? But, like... But he's very war-focused, obviously. I still owe you pierogies and steak. That's true, actually. I do, Noodle. You're right. Pierogies and steak sound wonderful. <laughs> we did end up eating pierogies, though, didn't we? Not too long ago? No save data found. Well, no shit. It's my first save. Let me do it. I, uh, Odin is, like, super old, actually, so it makes sense, but that was my first thoughts as well. Nope. <laughs>
I, uh, shit, what was I going to say? Oh, what I was going to say earlier, I got sidetracked at some point. A big surprise, I know. But, uh, Demon Lord's Castle. Hey, that's my buddy's name. He's on screen right now, and the, the stream boss up there. Demon Lord. <laughs> I don't think he knows this game. I don't think he got it from here. But, uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, the game is a bit scratched up, so I'm a little bit worried it might freeze at some point. But when I when I ran the uh, the check on it, everything came across just fine. So at least like my regular disk drive is able to read it okay. So hopefully the PS2 one can as well. He definitely is not torn up later in Gwendolyn's story. You'll see how he expresses affection. You're getting a bathroom reading, so can you, you might need to say my name a few times. Noodle! Hey, Noodle! Noodle, can you hear me, Noodle? I'm just joking. You're fine. <laughs> Mini progies are awesome. I 100% agree, man. I love progies in general, but mini progies got like the perfect mix of pasta to filling. Well, that's kind of sad as shit. Like, <laughs> everybody's just rushing to their death. We've already lost half our troops. Fuck. Four cheese are the best ones. The four cheese are good. I mean, all of them are good. IMO, but like the four cheese probably are the best though. Shadow Knight looked like a demon, but he seemed human to me. Yeah. Ningen. <laughs> Why did he let you go? I don't know. You tell me, bro. Why did he let me go? See, this is what I expect Odin's soldiers to look like right here, man. Just fi giant fucking brutes of, uh, <laughs> of Viking men, like. <laughs> Certainly not because I was late to the battle. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm a little iffy about this guy, man. Just straight up saying, like, my sister died because she rushed in. It wasn't my fault. Like, that makes me suspect you. I didn't suspect you until you said that. Like. Oh, yeah, I want to hear. Desolate Queen of the Fairies. She was the one who summoned the dragon. Wait, no, don't stop. I was trying to hear. Wait, continue. <laughs> I won't touch anything this time, I promise. That monstrous beast. She truly is evil. Are we like her daughter? I'm. Oh, princess, hear me out. That spear is a magical weapon called a cipher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heard this talk already. The dwarves fashion the crystals out of jewels and use them in weapons. Oh, is that what the little dudes are? Dwarves? It absorbs magical elements called phosons and able to absorb and release them. We know this already. It will surely lead to you to victory. Well, thank you. It's your first time getting minis, Nate? Really? Man, I love minis. We get them all the time. Noodle likes them baked in the oven, brushed with garlic butter, and dipped in sour cream. <laughs> she really likes sour cream and garlic. Like, those are two of her favorite things, so... Stone your series of jewel from the netherworld. Did you know that? I did. Now I do. Not even close, no. <laughs> but, but maybe another character. We can obtain that cauldron and fabricate our own jewels. Mm. You said only one man can do it. Well, lucky for me, I'm no man. Oh, you gotta have the, the sexy bunny ladies. Like, <laughs> uh, I'm worried about you. Please stay strong. You got it. You got it, boo. I shall bring some tea up to your room later. Ah, tea sounds fantastic, actually. Uh, I'm a traveling vendor who has been allowed to sell in this castle. Okay. Is there anything you need? Maybe. What are you selling? I got 20 whole gold. Can never have enough gar garlic? Agreed. Great things. I want to go to the garlic festival. That is Puka. She is Gwendolyn's attendant. Oh. Buy multiple items at a time. That's nice. I like when games do that. Mulberry seeds. So we can plant them to raise our HP and shit instead of absorbing it into our weapon. Hot cross buns, which are... Do those count as food the same way that the other one does? The the mulberries or whatever? 
The speed belt just increases running speed. Draw ring. Pick up items without having to kneel down. I mean, that's kind of nice, but not that big of a deal to me right now. Increase the attack power. Increase max HP. Yeah, okay. So I don't think I'm going to mess around with any of this stuff yet. Although I do kind of want the speed belt, honestly. It's only five gold. Fuck it. I'm just going to buy it. I don't care. Oh, it's a, like a D&D &D style thing. I didn't realize we had like different coins. Okay. So, titanium gold. One counts as two? Oh, weird. Okay. Okay. I can, I can, I can dig it. Did he at least give us change for it? Like he did, I'm, I'm pretty sure he gave us the change, right? Uh, okay. Seems like we can't go into the equipment menu here, can we? We can. He did give us change. Okay, good, good. Um, but this isn't the equipment manual, is it? Or menu. Oh, there we go. I don't know what button I pressed, but... <laughs> uh, okay, so that's... When it's glowing like that, does that mean it's equipped? Place a bag inside another bag to activate it. Increase running speed. Hmm. I don't know how to equip things. Move to the world map. Speed belt. Oh, now it's equipped. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I think we got it now. We just had to go into the to the other other menu. the The controls are laid out a little bit weird. I'm not. It's not really like bothering me. It's just strange. That's all. Takes some getting used to, but we got this. We gotta beat the bot, man. SL game, I don't know. Let's do a let's try three. Maybe we'll go for the top corner. The Raging Battlegrounds. Nebulopolis. <laughs> uh, what? I'm assuming we're supposed to go to the flag, so I'm gonna go to the flag. Oh, yeah, I mean, it won't even let us go to any of the area, other areas just yet, but... This... So far, what I have to say about this game is map. <laughs> or map. Fuck. Pretty. <laughs> it's very pretty. Just everything's pretty. The map's pretty. The character art's pretty. Even the menus look nice. Like, everything just looks nice, man. Demon Lord's Castle. I need to uh, take a screenshot of that and send it to Demon Lord. Tell him I found his castle. Flags with the weapons on are your current objective locations. That makes sense. Bro, that bird looks like something straight out of Disney. Putting from kingdom pride. Try to hide the truth from me. Opti Jack with TP. <laughs> Opti Jack and him fight all the time, man. I don't get it, really. Yeah, I'm but a phantom, okay. Well, this is kind of sad. Simply die like Griselda did. I, I don't know about that, man. You didn't show much love whenever your sister died. Like, uh, I wouldn't expect any different for you. Could spoil so many things, but I want to see your honest reaction. Yeah, I appreciate not having the spoilers. <laughs> little little tips and tricks and hints and things whenever I'm I'm stuck or whatever. Totally fine. Totally fine. But yeah, I don't want no spoilers. Repel the veneer and head for the cauldron. Okay. Uh wait. Are we just supposed to exit the area? Oh no, there we go. So, I mean, like, we can guard, but is there any point in guarding? Just kill these fools quick, man. The quicker they die, the higher my score, right? Does the score change for how many hits you take, though, or is it just clear time, I wonder? Damage bonus. Carried over 16 points. Yeah, it looks like it's just how quickly we get it done and how much damage we deal. Not so much how much we, uh... Not so much how much damage we do or don't take. 
Some money, always excellent. A mulberry seed, very nice. A mulberry, and then some seeds in cultivation. New text added to the archive. Seeds absorb phosons and produce fruit when planted. The amount of phosons required to ripen fruit varies, but the more a plant needs, the better the fruit. Fruit will turn overripe when left on the branch for too long. It is recommended that you pick fruit as soon as it ripens. That totally makes sense. If you're trying to min-max, I can understand why you might not want to pick up phosons then. Like, you might want to leave it for your fruit at the end or whatever. But... You never guard ever, Rue. I, uh, yeah, I feel like I probably won't be guarding much either, to be honest. <laughs> Where are the bros at? How am I supposed to fight you if you ain't gonna show up? Ah! Oh, that's cool. I feel like, uh, they're using fairies in the derogatory sense, not so much in the, uh, the nice sense. Also, bro, you ran way too far. Oh, there's... Sexy fairy women. <laughs> Is that it? Okay, so, well, hold on. I have that mulberry thing. I should be able to plant it. I think there's enough here to make it grow. Maybe. Okay. It seems to have grown full. So that means it should produce fruit. Yeah, there it goes. Got at least one from it. There's a second one. Get it. All oh, the mulberry, please. Hopefully things don't like despawn. Also, why am I attacking the mulberry? I don't know. I'm not trying to. I'm just an idiot. Napalm. What the hell? <laughs> Didn't expect that. Displays the level map. Press L1 to show or hide the map. The map shows the connections between the stages, the items you can win, and the difficulty indicated by the number of stars. Darkened stages have not yet been visited. Very cool. Okay. Uh, Mega Man dies in the end. Man, how dare you? <laughs> how much you take? It's all three. The ranks are S, A, B, and C in order. Best or worst. Wait till you see the Fairy Queen. Ooh. Uh, so L1 is the map. And we did that section. So we want to go down to this one over here now. I got it. I got it. I understand. Didn't we pick up some foodie foods? We did. Eat the food. The hit points leveled up. It also gave us, like, a full heal whenever we ate that, too. So, that's nice. Is there a way to see how much HP experience we have? I'm guessing that's that little, like, the yellow bar up top by that little shield there. I'm thinking that is. Is there any more phosons? No. Will the fruit take more phosons than they need? That's another thing. I don't know. But I wonder. Always recommend battling through the whole map for the most experience. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's any uh, RPGs, man. What is a butterfly? I mean, like, I know what butterflies are, but... <laughs> butterflies release phosons if you absorb near them. Press R1 near butterflies to absorb phosons. Okay. I will happily do so. I admit I don't know where this butterfly is. Is it on the map? Uh, Butterfly? Oh, there it is. That's... <laughs> Actually, it wasn't all that hard to see. I'm just... I don't know if we went by it or if I'm just freaking blind, but... You Slycone? S Cyclone to defeat them. To defeat who? Is there somebody here? I don't see anybody. Hello? Oh. Oh, damn. Hi, gentlemen. Uh... Triangle! <laughs> I was pressing it. Oh, okay, so I, I was thinking that was, like, more a AoE-based. It, it's more we wanted to be, like, right in front of them all. And then let it off is what we should have done, or I should have done, I guess. Okay, I feel like our score's not gonna be... I mean, holy shit, there's a lot of them. Yeah, I see why we might end up needing to, uh... Turn our difficulty down at some point. Holy hell. <laughs> I did not expect there to be that many people. Oh, okay. It's fine. <laughs> we got this. What do we get? A B? A B? Uh. Trash. What do we get? We got... Ooh, that hot cross bun, though, and a toxin. Spotting butterflies. New text added to the archive. 
Tales from long ago describe a mystical glowing butterfly. It is rarely seen and one is considered very lucky to encounter it. It is said that phosons can gather together and materialize in the form of a butterfly. This butterfly can only be seen for a brief period of time. You know, I, I don't talk about it too much, but I fucking love butterflies, bro. Like, <laughs> butterflies are just amazing. So that wasn't a full heal that time, but it still gave us a lot of health. And don't we have another... Oh, we actually have another hot cross bun to eat, too. Let's go ahead and, I mean, we'll eat that now. That should give us, yeah, a full heal now. And then to top it off, we can plant the mulberry seed. And... I was going to say, that should start absorbing shit. Uh, wait, was that already all it needed? I mean, I guess we did fight a lot of dudes, so... Makes sense that there's some extra Fozons. Uh, no, the other way. Thank you. Stream, you absolutely have to R1 to get those, by the way. When your score is being displayed, you can still move around and do stuff like that. Wait, do they, like, will they disappear then? After a little while, if we don't absorb them quick enough or whatever? Honestly, I was just under the impression that they stayed on the map all the time. <laughs> okay, so... Cypher is level 4. Next level is 90 more experience. HP is 200 experience. It's at level 5, so I'm just getting acquainted with everything here. That's our bag, and we should be able to move things between the bags. Napalm creates a wave of explosion. That's cool. Releases a stream of poison along the ground. Also cool. I think I'll leave all of that stuff in my menu right now. Uh, To the shop, I guess? Yes, they will, and you can't get them back. That's very good to know, then. <laughs> I will have to keep that in mind, yes. Oh, hello. Orders from the king. Ban the base and assault the enemy with all your our troops. Yeah. Okay, so our dad's trying to send us to our death. That's cool. That's cool. Appreciate that. I'm here to report that Lord Brigand's troops shall soon arrive. The general has sent us a message. Okay. What is he doing? Uh, hi. And you are? We're in a deadlock? Well, that's no good. Uh, where was the shopper? Shopkeep, I mean, not the shopper. What you selling? Charge extra since this is a battlefield, but you won't because you're not a dick? And if not, it still wouldn't be enough? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you even say that, man? Like, cool. Power stone increases power recovery rate, increases chance of item drops. That seems nice. Ex increases experience points. That seems pretty damn sweet, too. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's get some more item drops, man. Let's do that. One and then five of these. Thank you kindly. Is it me again? It might be me. There seems to be some sort of network problem going on. Let me make sure I don't have like an upload going on in the background or anything like that. Uh, let me close the screen for a moment here. And then... Yeah, I mean, it's not showing that anything is syncing. But let me, uh, let me like quit out of like Steam and, and all that BS. All the stuff that could be using my internet connection in the background. There we go. Hopefully that'll solve the issue. It might be on Twitch's end though. Because I do see that I, I have dropped a couple frames due to a network lag, but I can't really. I mean, it, your end may not be helping, but it's definitely not all all on you. Like it's not all your fault, man. Said I, I can definitely see over here that, uh, that I've dropped some frames. Oh, you can only have one item equipped at a time. Oh, that changes things a, le a little bit. I did not know that. Okay, so we want to go over to the left, but what's this? Oh, there's like alternate paths we can take? Well, we probably want to do everything, right? Instead of going for the shortcut or whatever? 
But we can go back. Yeah, we can go back and do other stuff, right? So, like... Ooh. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll just go, like... We'll just go all the way around. Right? Like, we can do that. I don't see any reason why we can't. So let's go to the B. I mean, I could be completely wrong. Rue's saying, yep, you sure you do. So it seems like, it seems like that's, that's a, that's a reasonable plan. Does time freeze when we use items? Or when we're in the menu? I think it does, right? Fairly certain it does. So we should be okay to just, like, line ourselves up in front of a bunch of dudes. Oh. Oh. Hi. You're a not so friendly looking dude. Um, does napalm work on you by any chance? <laughs> oh, it's a bo- Oh, the bees are bosses. That totally makes sense. Okay. Uh. Okay, he seems a little slow to turn around. Oh shit, I'm out of pow. I forgot about the pow. Pow is a thing that we got to worry about. Uh, <laughs> eat some mulberries. Let's get a little bit of health back. Another mulberry, please. Okay, so... Enemy reinforcements have arrived. What? No. No reinforcements. <laughs> reinforcements aren't allowed. Uh, square is not attacked. Or no, X is an attack. Shit. I'm getting confused on the, the controls now. Okay, so, can you knock this fucking fairy out of the sky, please? I've never been great at, like, beat-em-up games, like, 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up games. So I'm a little worried about this. This may not go so well for us, but... Oh, shit, and pow! I gotta remember that we can run out of pow. Whew. Okay, so we can't just spam the attack button. Also, like, I saw that coming. I should have blocked that. Uh, do we have anything, like, potion-wise? We do not, but we have more napalm. Uh, that, please. Thank you. Napalm this, bro. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> GG! I'm dead! When your HP drops to zero, the game will continue from the beginning of the current stage. If you wish to retry the stage without dying, select retry from the pause menu. Now nah, that's fine. We can, we can retry from the current stage. That's with the boss, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's fine. That's fine. Let's try this again. I don't mind trying a couple times. I generally like games to be harder, and I'm still just kind of learning. But I think I can handle the dude. Right now, the thing that I got to get used to is that, like, it just takes a second to do things, right? Like, it takes a second for the game to, to load whenever you, uh... Whenever you you go to use a weapon, like attack, or whenever you go to, to open up the menu or whatever. It just takes a second for things to happen, which is totally fine. It's just something that I need to get used to. That's all. And then, like, I got to get used to how the uh, the attacks work and whatnot, and the PAL system. The PAL system is going to be a big one that's going to take a moment to get used to. But I think, I think it's going to be okay, though. Oh, shit, I say, like, as we're dying. Uh, please don't hit me and die, bro. Napalm! Oh, we missed! <laughs> I think the napalm missed! Yeah, I got this, bro. I got him. Unicorn Knight defeated. Very cool. Okay. Let's uh let's grab this stuff because that'll also make our P meter rise a little bit. Was there another dude? There was. See, no problem, man. Ye of little faith might want to change the difficulty. No! No change in the difficulty. We breaking on through. We got this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we almost died, but it's fine. And we got a C rank, so not amazing. I'm sure we'd get, like, better unlocks and shit if we, uh, didn't, you know, just die. But it's fine. Hey, who's the expert here? Oh, no. You know a shit ton more than me. No doubt. But, like, 
for the pre time period of PS2 games, it was a pretty load heavy, but honestly, you love the story so much, you couldn't care less. Yeah, I mean, like, so far, I'm liking it. Like, so far, it's really good. Let's eat that hot cross bun, though, because uh, we definitely need the health. We can't get anything to grow just yet. Like, we don't have uh, any, any Fozons here. Um, how do we get into our bag again? Is that R2? Yes. Let's get the speed belt. Move it to the other bag. Just can't really do anything with that at the moment. Better ranks means better prizes. Oh, yeah, no, I, like, I totally get that. But I, uh, I don't know. I just like playing games on hard mode, man. I like challenges. Obviously, if it gets too bad, I'll, I'll switch over, but yeah. When you enter rest areas, you should recover HP. <clears throat> Very good to know. Save that rose smile. It'll help. So wait, I shouldn't grow it? Like, as soon as I can, I shouldn't grow it? Because that was my plan. <laughs> I was like, as soon as, uh, as soon as I kill some bros. Wait. Oh, you can, like, do a low attack. Okay, I got you. Man, my pow is, like, already gone. I'm guessing that, like, down attack must be, like, really hard on the, on the pow meter or something like that. Uh, y'all arrow bros are kind of assholes. Wait until you have more mulberry seeds. Okay. If you want to die, lady, that'd be cool. Is that everybody? Nope. I'm guessing we're getting a big wave of people since it's telling me to use the cyclone. Uh, triangle. Cyclone. Will that pull them out of the sky, too? Yes, it does. It goes... Well, okay. It doesn't pull them out of the sky, but it does reach up into the sky. Like, it still damages them, at least. I see an item on the ground over here, too. Oh, butterfly! Yes! Give it to me, baby! Spethered attacks take up more pow. Yes, that makes sense. I totally should have expected that. What do we get? We got... Gold, of course. The Art of War. New text added to the archive. One must not attack haphazardly. You must mind your distance from the opponent. Gather your power and attack swiftly. Avoid multiple enemy enemies and fight one-on-one. -on -one. Battles are not just about swinging your weapon. You must tend your wounds, use magic and items, and strengthen your weapon. To tr excuse me. To, to truly take care and control of the battlefield. Holy shit, I can't talk. Painkiller. Cuts damage in half and prevents knockback. Very cool. Uh, regen, that's also very cool. That'd be very helpful against a boss, I feel like. Uh, map. So we got another boss down there, but I feel like we should go around first. So let's go to this one, actually. Yeah, the one that we're on. And hopefully this counts as a rest area, which means we'll get HP back. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, well. I don't know what that yellow thing is, or what that is, or I don't know what any of these things are. That's that's money. I can see that one there is money if we beat that one, but <laughs> I don't know what any of the other ones are though. Uh, okay, we have. Oh no, these are potions. I thought they were mulberries. Never mind. Well, there should be a, sh a shopkeeper around here somewhere though, so we can talk to them. Maybe buy some or something. You're neutral in this war? Just a businessman? Fair. Purple means area boss, as in final boss for the level, so save them for last. That makes perfect sense. Oh, mulberry seed. Well, I mean, I guess we could uh, buy a mulberry seed. Prevents a set portion of damage, so it's just a, a shield all the time. That's kind of nice. Increases attack power by 5%. That's also kind of nice, but I kind of like the extra buttons. Or buttons? Extra, extra items. Oh. Oh. Too late. <laughs> oh, wait. Unless it was... Was it under five? Get the star pendant more HP. Just a businessman. Yeah, yeah. You told us this already. Oh, wait. I guess I could sell my speed thing, too. Uh, speed belt. Because I'm not using that anymore, right? I mean, I only get one for it, though. So I don't really know if that was worth it. But oh, well. Too late. No, it was 10. <laughs> Oops. Increase max HP by 5%. It'll be fine. 
Who needs HP anyways, right? You just gotta kill everything before they hit you, that's all. And we got the Mulberry Seed now, and the next area is only... Well, okay, the next area is a boss, but like... <laughs> we have painkillers, though. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. No worries, man. No worries. And, and we got some Napalm. Nothing to worry about, Rue. I'm gonna plant the Mulberry Seed now, though, before I forget, because it should... Oh, wait, but if we don't pick it in time... Ooh. Okay. Okay, the boss is right here. Uh, use the painkiller. Actually, you know what? Throw the napalm down first. And then use the painkiller. Or one of the painkillers. Okay, well. Uh, circle, circle. Oh, that's right. We got regen too. Dude, we're, we're totally fine. We are probably fine. Also, I thought I had three painkillers. I didn't use all three, right? <laughs> Jump! Oh, bro. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to use the regen. And... Okay. We might die here, but, like, it's fine. I dropped one. How do you, how did I drop it? <laughs> I didn't even know you could just drop stuff like that. Where? I don't see it. Oh, is that the thing on the ground? Oh, okay. I'm still trying to figure out how to get the freaking dive bomb to work. It doesn't always seem to want to trigger. Kill the reinforcements so they don't get in the way. Uh, run. I... Is there a dodge? I don't think there's a dodge button, right? Oh, I'm dizzy? Dizzy level one? Oh, no. Okay, so I couldn't do anything because I was dizzy? You got hit? Wait, is that how I dropped stuff? Was because I was hit? Butterfly spotted? I uh, don't think I'm gonna make it to the butterfly unless it stays on the battlefield for a while. Butterfly! Where art thou, butterfly? Also, uh, mulberry seed, let's get that planted real quick. Uh, not unless R1 is dodge. Yeah, no, R1 definitely is not dodge in this game. In this one. Oh, because I was in the middle of drinking it, so I dropped it. I guess that makes sense. But, like, I still got the effect of one, though. I guess that's kind of what confused me. I'll come back for the chest, because I don't think that's going to despawn. But the butterfly might. I want the... No, butterfly! <laughs> no! Bruh! Oh, that's shitty. We were so close, too. It was, like, right there. Oh, well. What you gonna do? And then our chest. Uh, Okay. I got worried for a moment. I didn't see it in the little map up top, and I was like, oh shit, did it actually despawn? <laughs> but no, thankfully it did not. Another mulberry seed, very nice. And some toxin, also very nice. So what all... Okay, we got painkiller now. We got still got that rosimile or whatever. Oh, no phosons required. It just releases 12 phosons. I see why you were saying to use that with the, uh, the mulberries. That makes sense. That makes that makes sense now. Yep. Uh, which one do we want to go to? Not this one. Probably the level five encounter to the left. You said that's like a uh, a free revive or whatever. Definitely want that. Use the right analog stick. To, oh, I know how to move the map game. Can next time you play this on stream, if you do, I might have to record with you on Discord. <laughs> it's fine. I'm gonna make some mistakes, but I'll figure it out. No worries. It's all going smooth so far. I've only died the once. Uh, just we just gotta kick some ass, man. It's also I see we got like two magical spells now. Holy shit! 
Why are some dudes green on the map and other dudes are white? That's one thing that I don't understand. I see, like you said, the silver ones are the more powerful ones. I totally get that. Hey, thank you for the bits, Noodle. I appreciate it, love. I appreciate it a lot. But yeah, I don't understand, like, like the fairy, for instance. They seem to almost always show up in white for some reason. While, like, uh, pretty much everybody else shows up in... Oh, we're almost dead. I'm on fire. Fire, probably not a good thing. Uh, run away. <laughs> uh, there's fairies. People are on all sides. Holy shit. We're probably fucked. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. We got a mulberry. One mulberry. That's all I need. It's fine. Everything's gonna be okay now. That one mulberry is going to give me all the strength I need. Oh, we can hit away the fire, too. No, you don't. <laughs> Stop that right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's more. Okay, so I'm guessing. I haven't gotten the, the chance to read what your message is, but I'm guessing what's going on other than me dying right now. I'm guessing the uh, the white ones on the, the mini-map are the more powerful ones, and the green ones are in the... Uh, the green ones are in the, uh, are not, like. Oh, not like that, and you know it. I just mean I'd like to be able to respond faster than what speech chat is letting me respond. Eh, kinda, it's more so the type of enemy they are, which is the color difference. Sing about the mulberries? I, how do you sing about the mulberries? Is there a mulberry song? There's probably a mulberry song, but I don't know it. I'm kinda stupid. Do I have a mulberry bush? I do. I have a mulberry bush in real life. Or a mulberry tree, I guess I should say. More like it. Magic, please. Oh, did I? <laughs> Most of the time when I'm streaming, I have no idea what's going on. Like, I just say things, dude. So, like... <laughs> so, like, yeah. Yes! Fall down, fairy lady. And this is extra health for me, so that's very helpful. Also, Cyclone. All you bitches gonna die. Oh, my mulberries got knocked about. <laughs> I need to pick up my mulberries. Okay. Oh, nope, nope. Too many bros. I need to eat. Oh shoot, is it time for an ad break? You are right, it is pretty damn close to time for an ad break. But, oh uh, god. I'm not gonna ad break in the middle. Oh, hi fairy lady. Uh, do you mind just like chilling there for a second while I take my sweet ass time uh, <laughs> eating this mulberry? <laughs> Thank you for holding, I do appreciate it. Where's the other fairy lady? I see her. I don't appreciate you throwing fire. Good, she's dead. Okay. How many ways are there in this area, I wonder? Is it, is it only three? Because if it's only three, then we're good. Like, we got this. We got this. Yeah, boy. See, that wasn't so bad. We only died once. Safer gauge fool. I mean, okay, I'm probably gonna get a C or whatever. Like, I'm sure it won't be a good score, but... Yeah, whatever, though. It's fine. There's our hot cross buns. And an ancient crystal. Revives the wearer once when defeated. So is that a item we have to equip, though? Or is that... Just something that just happens? Okay, it's something we have to equip. But honestly, probably worth it. Expect... Well, you know what? I'll save it for whenever we go into the boss. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll keep the Lux Stone equipped in the meantime. And then whenever we get to the boss, I'll equip that. Something you have to equip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. And the Hot Cross Buns we get to eat twice, right? It seems like it, at least. Recommend saving it for the final boss. See, I've played video games before. I'm not completely stupid. <laughs> All right. But, Rue, you were right. It is time for a break. So, 
I'm going to uh, stand up, stretch, take a drink, do all that sort of stuff. And then we'll be right back with some more Odin Sphere. This has been a lot of fun so far. I'm glad it was recommended by by me. No, to me. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be right back, guys. That's boost. <laughs> oh, no. Yep. Yep. We're... <laughs> we, we are doing bad. So bad. What is the fire button? I've forgotten. Uh, reverse, please. <laughs> okay. Is there a restart? I think we're just going to restart. Yeah, good. Noodle, you're going to love me for this. And oof, I know the feel. I was exposed twice because of the college campus. That's, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> That's one of the worst parts about working retail through all of this. Like, I'm thankful I still have a steady income throughout all of it. Don't get me wrong. But, um... Just the, the constant exposure. I've been exposed so many times. Only gotten it once, thankfully. But, yeah. So, avoid the barrels. Shoot the targets. Activate all satcoms. Ah, uh, you guys are the worst. <laughs> it throws me off my games so much. I'm already having trouble between the sickness and trying to figure out what the hell to do. Here we go. Here's your, your five minutes of, uh, what the hell is it called? I've forgotten the name. The ABCs. <laughs> I've already forgotten how to sing down with the sickness. That's what happens when you put me on the spot. <laughs> I don't know what to say every time you do this is lame. I need to know the time as well, because if I don't check, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's 23.50. I'll have to remember 55 is when I get to stop. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Yeah. <laughs> I actually really like Disturbed. It's kind of sad. I can't remember it. But I guess that's what happens when you put me on the spot. What do you expect? This is hard. It's gonna be every... Uh, we failed that objective. <laughs> I'm blushing now and... <laughs> freaking terrible. <laughs> We're doing better than last time. At least that's good. And, um, I can't rhyme. Uh... Oh, wah, ah, ah. <laughs> get, get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Uh, uh, it's hard to focus and to sing, if that's what you can call this thing. It, it's hardly singing when all I do is sing ABCs and uh, uh, I love Noodle too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah terrible wasn't it i had enough of it that's why we had to come back <laughs> i had to come back and play the game so we could get away from that it's the worst i think we're done in this area right yeah yeah yeah, yeah we're definitely done and then we still have two more areas and those ones are only like little two star three star areas ah dude it's gonna be super easy Unless we have to, like, refight the boss when we go back into this area. <laughs> Yay, he loves me? What? Oh, 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 I said I loved you, Noodle, in that, uh, <laughs> in that song there, huh? Oh, hush, you sense beautifully? You sense beautifully? Hmm. I don't even know what that means, but thank you. <laughs> uh... Use Cyclone to defeat them. Uh, how about I just absorb this butterfly instead? Because that's much more important right now. Oh, fairy ladies. Oh, there's a bunch of them too. I'm trying to triangle. I'm assuming we can unlock more magic at some point, right? Holy shit. Oh, bruh. The Cyclone hurts me too? I did not know that. Oh, that changes things. That's why I was taking so much. I thought I was being shot or something. I didn't know I was taking damage from the cyclone. Oh, fuck. Okay. So I can't run into the cyclone. That's important. I need to remember that. 
we almost died. <laughs> uh, and all we unlocked was a single mulberry seed. Okay. Do I have any mulberries or anything to eat at least? I have one mulberry. Uh, and then we have a toxin, a painkiller, and the resimile thing. Okay. So, I do need more HP levels right now. So, I need to get at least one more mulberry seed. To make it worth using that resimile thing. Uh, I mean, I think we can take on this next one then. As long as I don't do the stupid thing of... Running into my own freaking magic spell again. Saying shut up, unless you leave the area, no, you don't have to rematch them. Okay, okay, okay. Also good to know. Come hither, bitches. Where art thou? No, seriously, though. Ah! They appeared out of nowhere! Oh, these are, like, easy bros, too. Uh, I say as I get hit by magic fairy lady. No! Fairy lady! Fire! Fire! Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm not good at that, uh... At that... Down dash attack thing. I fuck that up every time. Was that it for the wave? No, there's nothing. Okay. Oh, there's a butterfly! We had to kill him quick! I want the butterfly! Uh, wait, was that the butterfly right there? I see the fireball. Knock it back. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I have, I have mulberry seed. Plant the mulberry seed. Uh, mulberry seed. We need, we need HP points. This is gonna hurt my score, and I realize that, but I definitely need, uh, I definitely need more food to raise my HP level. And, I mean, also just healing a little bit would be awesome. Only in hard mode and easy. No, you shouldn't take damage. Okay. So, I could stop that by stepping down to easy mode. But, I probably won't. Unless we really start to struggle at some point. Also, sadly, Noodle, I do not. What? Oh, she asked you if you had enough points for <laughs> sing mode. I didn't see that, that message. Ah, now we get the other, uh... Mulberry seed. Okay, uh... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Do not return to home base. I meant to go back. Oh. Uh, have you donated to the community thing, though? Have you done that? Because that's important. You should do that instead. Uh... <laughs> Ancient crystal toxins, painkiller, the rosimile, and one mulberry seed. Well, that's everything, right? So now... As we go back around, we should be able to hit the shop up and maybe they'll sell another another mulberry seed. I don't know if it's worth spending the money on that, but like, whatever, you know. Oh boy, are you going to be okay against Bilal? And oh, do you now? Uh, I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine. We have full health. We have a luck potion, whatever the hell that is. Like... It'll be fine. No worries. Says the guy who said yesterday, save points since we have a month. I mean, yeah, that's true. You do have a month, but, like, you could also not do that, though. Because, yeah, don't you want to see more of this beautiful game and less of my not-so-beautiful singing? I know I do. Or you can make me take my glasses off. Or, Noodle, you could have your own quote. We know how much you love your weird-ass quotes. You can make up your own quote instead. And you'll be able to do exclamation mark whatever the hell you want to have your quote said all the time. I'm neutral in this world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already know this. Hey, the community challenge has been 50% complete. Thank you, Noodle. Bye. Okay, so we can buy another uh, mulberry seeds. That's good. And then... You suggested the star pendant, but I'm assuming that's something we have to wear. So, like, while it is nice, I don't think we need to do it right now. I will buy a mulberry seed. And, uh... And a, uh... 
maybe a hot cross bun because why not I guess what kind of quote would I do? I don't know. You could have weenie. You could have something about how you're the greatest girl you friend ever. Um, <laughs> could be anything you want. It is, so I do recommend the ancient crystal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. We'll keep the ancient crystal. We won't buy that right now, the Saturn bangle, but it will keep it in mind as something that we probably should get at some point. In case we don't have, like, an extra ancient crystal or whatever. Okay, I'm going to save the hot cross bun for into the fight. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save all of the food for in the fight. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and plant these, though. Plant that. Plant that. Oh, wait, no. Do I have two Rosimiles? I thought I had two Mulberries. Oh, I thought I had two. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can, I can quickly buy another Mulberry seed. I should have enough. Hey, thank you, Ru, for uh, contributing points as well. I appreciate that. Uh, by Mulberry Seed. Please and thank you. I think he's ignoring it. Oh, why? Why'd you do that? <laughs> you really didn't need to do that. Like, it was fine to not do that. But then you had to go and do it. <laughs> I don't know what to sing about. Do the sing mode, yes. Woo, a eh, fuck it. Uh. <laughs> Room requested it. Do it, stream. Uh, back to the ABCs, then we go, huh? Uh. <laughs> what time is it? 103. Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, sing about mulberries. I don't even rem remember singing about the mulberries. Uh, honestly, I think you're crazy. Uh, <laughs> what was I singing about mulberries? Uh, mulberry tree, mulberry bush. Uh, going around the mulberry bush. I don't remember this at all. Mm-mm. Uh, come on, get up, get down with the sickness. Uh, all around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. I, I do not know that song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You are all a bunch of weenies. I need to check my chests, uh, to make sure that this stuff is where I want we can take the Rosimile and put it over here. I did have another mulberry seed. I'm so mad. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, put the Luckstone up here, please. Put the mulberries where I can eat them. And the hot cross bun. Sh stream look something up. Uh... <laughs> I don't know if I know that song. Uh, but we can look it up anyways. Um. Hands. I don't know the tune though. That's the problem, right? I it's been a long time. I have heard this though, actually. Now that we're here, I read down his throat. I don't know how to sing it because I don't know where it's at or like the tune to it. Don't care to it. My disguise, just. In time to hear you cry. You're a bloody Valentine. The night he. he <laughs> Go into that. You're a bloody Valentine. One. One. <laughs> this isn't going so well. 
please don't cry. I wash my bloody hands and we'll start a new life. Oh, much at all. I don't know wrong from right. All I, I know is that I love you tonight. Bullies and flashing lights. Rain came down so hard that night and the headlines raid. A lover died. The tell heart was left to find. Our death. Ready, Valentine. Uh, the gate right before the castle. You are the death of your bloody Valentine. One last time. Again. Oh, my love, please don't cry. I'll wash my bloody hands and we'll start a new life. I don't know much at all. I don't know wrong from right. All I know is that I love you tonight. Tonight. He dropped you off, I followed him home. Then I stood outside his bedroom window. <laughs> So I didn't hurt him, he begged me not to do what I knew I had to do. I felt so in love with you. Oh my love, please don't cry. I'll wash my bloody hands and we'll start a new life. I feel no worse at all, I don't know wrong from right. All I know is that I love you too. Oh, it changed at the end. <laughs> Why are we fighting people again? We went through this area once already. I was not expecting more enemies here. I've been lied to. <laughs> oh, and that chest has appeared. What? I'm so confused. Soon you'll be singing all the time like the Binding of Isaac, dude. <laughs> Answer now. I did. I answered in the middle of all of that. I said in the uh, the gate. Or uh, right at the gate right before the castle. I forget the exact n name of it. There you go. Yeah. He said gate before the castle. See, I said it. I saw your message. I was uh, a little late in seeing it, but I did see your message. <laughs> Good song. Haven't heard that one in a long ass time. I didn't hear that. I like. I don't. I didn't know that one though. Like I've heard it before, but yeah, I didn't know that one off the top of my head. And uh, we're fucked. <laughs> Chapter one, Act four, Veneer Forward Headquarters. I think Nate fell asleep on us again, guys. Ooh. Well, hi there. Hi, Fairy Queen. You have big titties. Uh, <laughs> Is he really risking his own life though? It's more like he's risking the life of his children and his troops. Not so much himself. And big wingies. She does have some big ass wingies. This is true. Queen of the ghosts. Ooh. Okay. Not the name I would have expected for. The demon lord's daughter. Why would Odin be known as the Demon Lord? I'm assuming this isn't actually based on Norse mythology, just like they just borrowed some of the names and shit from it. Well, he looks fancy. Oh, Belial the Dragon, okay. 
Yes. Yes, I do. Ooh. He looks fancy. Got some pretty colors for a dragon, man. Raging Dragon Belial. Isn't the Belial a name of a demon? Like in, in mythology? Real world mythology? That's not her actual title. She means that she and the other fairies will be dead soon. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I, I can see that now. Now that you mention it. Ow! Oh, we're dizzy. We can't do anything. We're gonna die. It's fine. And then run away. <laughs> and then... Is he gonna do some sort of attack or anything? He's just kind of chilling. It's not really what I expected from him, to be honest. Oh! Okay. Uh... Okay, the game... <laughs> frame rate suddenly died. <laughs> uh... Why is there stuff falling from the sky? Bad dragon. None of that now. Oh, no. Did he just eat me? Bruh. That is not very nice. <laughs> okay, I need to uh, throw some toxin on him, maybe. Do a little bit of damage. And then... Uh, get behind him, because... Fairy lady need to go away. And then we could also eat a little bit of food. Hot cross buns. Oh, and then you know what else we need to do that we totally forgot? <laughs> to equip our revive. <laughs> I feel like that'd probably be a decent thing to do too. Uh, he's coming for us. I'm a little worried about the frame rate issue that the game was having there. That was weird, man. Oh, that's right. I need to remember about the, the force thing. Force or pow, I mean. Pow is a thing, and we need to pay attention to it. Oh, butterfly spotted? Hey, sorry, dragon beastie, bro. Uh, like, you're cool and all, but... Oh, shit. Now we're dizzy. <laughs> There's also Leviathan, the world serpent, and Wagner as well. Plus one more, but you can't remember. I do remember seeing when I was looking in the uh, the booklet a little bit last night. I do remember seeing some of the the names of the different dragons and shit. I don't remember what they all were though. Uh, hot cross bun. That might just be the disc. You don't remember yours doing that. It may be. Like I said, it it, it read fine. So like it's not completely like borked. Like the game should work okay. Hopefully. But, uh, I did... It is a bit scratched up, though. So I can totally see it having some trouble reading at times. Like, I, I would not be surprised if that's a thing. Oh! Bro, that hurt! Why did you drop that thing on me? That wasn't very nice! No! Don't... Fuck. Belial! Let me out right now! <laughs> this is not okay, Belial. Uh, Cyclone please and then uh not cyclone health we need mulberries mulberries don't give us a whole lot of health they give us more experience than health but like we're dying so oh no did i drop my mulberry okay it's fine though he's dead he's like he's dead dead yeah, see, we got him. No problem. We didn't even need the heal, man. The heal? The, the revive, I mean. We definitely needed the heals. <laughs> no problem. Got it. Hard mode? More like easy mode. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> uh. We're going to hunt down any remaining enemy forces. Are you going to say anything to me? Your daughter? Are you not proud of me? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Odin, notice me. Okay, might as well finish this off. Six. 
Why did you want to know about where to rest in uh, Elden Ring, Noodle? What was that all about? I'm guessing you're talking to like your sister or someone and they're playing the game and they're having some trouble with it. <laughs> I'm guessing. I don't know. Lord knows you ain't playing Elden Ring. A friend asked you. Oh, a friend that knows that I'm playing Elden Ring, I'm guessing. Because otherwise, why the hell would they ask you? You don't play games. <laughs> this is a weird-ass cauldron, man. This is like a, a, a mechanical, it, it's, you know, it's like a machine. It's not something I expected in this world. It's out of place, but I'm kind of into that, you know? Kind of the clash of, of fantasy, magic, and machines. They just download it, you don't want the same thing happening to them. Oh, okay. King is with the cauldron, okay. To the cauldron we go? Question mark? Ooh. Hi there, you're the other character. I remember you. Yeah, Velvet, that's her name. I like her outfit. <laughs> Not by you nor the Queen of Fairies. Ooh. 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 Damn, girl. She is not having it. She has had enough. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Save the game. We should probably do that. I was over. I was looking over at uh, chat and shit. I wasn't paying uh, attention to what was actually going on on the screen. My bad. Got Amazon Prime. Use your free sub. Bit.ly slash STS. Whatever my name is. Uh... <laughs> STS Twitch. That's it. That's that's the that's the link. Velvet has a bit of a tragic background. I mean, I don't know anything about that, obviously, but I like her clothes. <laughs> Technology is so advanced, we can't make it work. If the Queen of Fairies can do it, you dwarves can do it. I believe in you. Dwarves can do anything they put their mind to. Period. Also, I just realized the game didn't work. Duh, we all do. <laughs> Fair. Fair. The witch is a refugee from a falling enemy nation. What's that mean? So the king let her live, basically, like, they attacked the nation, he didn't kill her for one reason or another, and that's why she's still alive. Oh. Yeah. Sorry about that. Not sure there's much I can do there. <laughs> You're about to find out why he let her live? Ooh. That sounds like absolute garbage. <laughs> like, like absolute trash. Why don't we just destroy it? I mean, everybody's wrong sometimes, lady. Sorry to tell you. What? You never want to meet him on the battlefield? Scaredy cats, man. I would love to meet him on the battlefield. Let's go. Probably because, like, everybody died in the process. Cheese? There's cheese? So cheese recovers a lot of HP, but barely any experience. Oh, I mean, like, 15, though. That's better than the hot cross buns. But do you get two uses out of it, though? Don't know. Don't know. 
cures poison. Poison could be nice to get rid of. Prevents status effect poison. Just totally prevents it. I could see that really coming in handy depending on the uh, the level or whatever. Uh, speaking of though, what's in our bag right now? We got the crystal. Let's move the mulberry over. What's the lucky mix do? Increase the chance that an enemy will drop an item. So it's the same thing that the luck stone does, just temporary. That's nice. I can get into that. Uh, I guess there's no reason really not to just go ahead and eat the mulberries right now. Just go ahead and get that. And that took us up to level 8. Very nice. To get the most experience, you'll need to eat full meals at Puka Village. You'll unlock that later. And no cheese is one to eat. Yeah, I don't think it's really worth it then. I mean, you do get a little bit more experience for your eating, but you recover less health, and it's not that much more experience. It's only three times as much as the hot cross buns. But hot cross buns are two uses, so really it's only an extra five experience. Yeah, no, not worth it. The Deep Forest of Elric. Uh, we'll go into the area, because I'm hoping that we'll see some story whenever we first get into the area or whatever. But it is 123. It's coming up on that time, sadly. Chapter 2, Act 2, Demon Lord's Castle. Don't worry, though. We're definitely going to end up playing more of this. I just got to be Resident Evil 3 first. But this can be the next game that we play on stream. I'm totally cool with that. <laughs> that dude reminds me of, like, a Titan from Attack on Titan or something. The way he's walking around. <laughs> he looks so weird walking around. I think it's just because he's so damn top-heavy. Sexist drunk pig, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're a princess or whatever. Just take care of it and his leave. Or, I mean, I guess that works too. Constantly trying to prove yourself to your dad that it's just going to get you killed. She is special. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, girls don't get that honor. It's all men being in control. Trash. So, is she my mommy? <laughs> Sorry. Oh. I am happy, though, like, the loading times between the, uh, the different levels is really short, though, isn't it? Like, it doesn't take very long at all to load in. That's pretty cool. Alchemy Mix. Magic potions can be made by mixing items with substances called materials. Bruh. Crafting? I do like some crafting. Right up there with mining. It's almost like if someone made a game about mining and crafting, it would be huge, let me tell you. <laughs> Antidote. Cures poison. Ingredients. Material. Onion. <laughs> or Cubs Bane. So wait. Material zero plus onion. <laughs> onion? Onioni? <laughs> or Material 6, Cubs Bane. Are you my mummy? No, but you're extremely close to the truth. Mummy, mum, mummy, where are you? Uh, Are you my mummy is from Doctor Who. I don't know if you watch Doctor Who at all. It's a creepy ass episode of Doctor Who, though. At least for me, because I, I think gas masks and shit are creepy. So we take the onion. So circle item ring. Go to. Material. And then put in the onion. And that gives us an antidote. Why not just eat the onion then? Like. <laughs> Depending on the material number and item you mix, a variety of potions can be crafted. So a one material plus onion makes other potion. I didn't see the other two. End of tutorial. No, you don't. Ah, it's probably my favorite show. To be honest, I, I really, really like it. In uh, Orion, Arian, alchemic methods have been passed down through the ages. Alchemy is performed by dissolving various objects in special liquids known as materials to create alchemy mixes. However, the alchemist must possess recipes to successfully create a mixture. 
So you can't just guess the recipes. You have to actually own it first. Capture Velvet, the Forest Witch. Oh, wait. We're trying to capture Velvet? I thought we were trying to capture the... The Fairy Queen. My bad. Okay, so... Velvet's our sister, I'm assuming, then. <laughs> like... Yeah, I just thought that... I thought we were capturing the Viv, uh, Fairy Queen. That's why I said... Mommy. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm just going to assume that uh, Velvet's our sister until I'm told otherwise. <laughs> Abandoned by her father in some uh, some respect. Ding, you are correct. Older half-sister, in fact. See? Called it. <laughs> Ooh, all kinds of goodies. A muggle seed. Ripen with aphosons. Fruit has something that I didn't see. Then we got some simile and mulberries. And two materials and another mulberry seed. Bro, we're gonna need a bigger bag here soon. We are picking up this shit left and right. Holy crap. Can we like combine these two? Or are they always just base material something? So I'm assuming that's like a quantit a quality, not a quantity. What was that other muggle seed? Fruit has low experience but contains seeds. Oh, so like you can just keep growing more of them? That's pretty nifty, if that's how that works. Um, since we have a row simile, so that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 to grow a mulberry, isn't it? Ah, trash. But wait, that's 13 to grow these two, plus another 5, that's 18, 23 to grow all of my seeds. And we have two row simile, so we might as well just do them all. Done and dusted. Okay, so hold on. Uh, muggle seed. Please and thank you. And then circle. Circle me, please. Uh, mulberry seed right there. Yep. And then right here, we got mulberry seed. Yep. Yep. And then, uh, right here, we can plant a rosimile. I didn't mean to plant that literally on top of it. Hopefully that doesn't fuck anything up. I think it'll be okay. I hope it's okay. <laughs> and then if we go to the other bag, we had... Uh, another mulberry seed. And then another Rosimile. And that should be everything now. There we go. Everything should grow. Plant all seeds firsty. I got him. Odin had a fling with the enemy princess. And like he did with Gwendolyn and Griselda basically said, have fun on your own. <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's a wonderful guy, our dad. Reminds me a lot of my own dad. <laughs> uh, trash. All the seeds. All the fruit. Ooh. Big ass fruit. The muggle. Come back! And then... Eat it. What happens? So when it said the muggle contains a seed, so when we eat it, does that mean we just get another seed back for it? 120 experience? Holy shit. That's a lot, man. <laughs> I thought it said it didn't do much experience. That thing does tons. Fruit has low experience but contains seeds? That's a ton of experience. What do you mean? 120 is low. That's crazy. Alright, I feel like I should put all of my fruit in the one or something. Because there's just like a ton of it now. But anyways, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting caught up in the game. <laughs> That's how you know I'm enjoying it. I'm having trouble leaving. Alright, we got this. <laughs> yeah, real father of the year, huh? Also, mood stream save here. Mine is currently in prison. Uh, I read that prison in Azkaban. Uh, because, you know, but... <laughs> Mine's not in prison. I wouldn't mind if he was, but he's not. Mine's just a dick. He runs his own shop. I'm thinking of taking my uh, car shop. I'm taking... Huh. I'm thinking of taking my car there because my uncle works there, too. My uncle's actually a great guy. Like, I really like him. So. <laughs> but it's always weird. Like, I don't know if he would still recognize me or not, but when I was younger, me and my cousin used to go over there all the time to see my uncle. And, uh... And, uh... 
every time we would go over there to, to see him or, or do some work on my cousin's car or whatever, my dad would just go and like run to his office and would say absolutely nothing to me the whole time I was there. Yeah, awkward as hell, but I thought it was funny. Like, <laughs> uh, you wish that might actually be okay with bonding him. Oh, oh, coward, right, right. Me and him had dinner together once. He didn't say a single word to me the entire time. <laughs> it was at my uncle's house again, my cousin's dad's house, uh, because he was doing some work for my uncle, because uh, he also does like uh, landscaping shit. Uh, and yeah, so he was like, hey, now that the landscaping shit's done, do you want to uh, eat some dinner with us? And he was like, yeah, sure. Uh, and then, yeah, never said a word to me the entire time. <laughs> It was fucking great, man. You meant bonding with him? You meet bonding with him? Mm, you're bonding over meat now? I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta pick on you. You pick on me for my, my fucking up words all the time. I gotta mess with you for messing up your uh, your spelling, so. <laughs> but that's alright. Go get some sleep, Rue. As I, I'm screwing up my words trying to say that. We're signing off for the night anyways. Tomorrow, Saturday, I may be a little bit late starting the, the, the normal Saturday stream. I'm not sure what time I'm going to be able to start it because I have a baby shower to go to. But uh, we'll be playing Resident Evil 3 as soon as I can, as close to 5 as I can at least. And uh, yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Hope to see you all there, and I hope you have a good night. Bye-bye, y'all. Will do, Rue. Will do. It's only been a minute. What the hell? I need this to stop, so...